Okay, in problem number 17, we want to find the derivative of the function g of y equals 3y to the fourth minus y squared times y squared minus 4 using two different methods. And what do I mean by using two different methods? Well, first of all, I want to use the product rule because these are two functions multiplied together uh, to take the derivative. And then secondly, I could just multiply this out or use FOIL to multiply this out and then take the derivative and not use the product rule. Both of those ways are equally good and both of them will get you the right answer. So let's do both just to show ourselves that in fact these two ways of doing the derivative are exactly the same. Okay, so first let's use the product rule. And uh, so I'll write g prime of y is equal to, uh, and now we should be getting comfortable with the fact that the product rule says it's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Okay, so let's do that. It's the first guy left alone, 3y to the fourth minus y squared times the derivative of this second function. Now the derivative of y squared minus 4 is 2y, okay, plus the second one left alone, y squared minus 4, times the derivative of the first one. And the derivative of the first one is 12y cubed, 12y cubed, minus 2y. Okay, so uh, we have this, and uh, it could be simplified a little bit, and maybe it's worth it because at the end of the day, I'd really like to say that these two methods are the same. So let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. So if I multiply through right here by this 2y, let's see what I get. I get 6y to the fifth minus 2y cubed. Then I'll FOIL this out and see what I get. So I get 12y to the fifth. Then I get y squared times negative 2y, so minus 2y cubed. Uh, minus 4. Oh, I'm sorry. 4 times 12 is not 4. Uh, 4 times 12 is uh, negative 48 y cubed. And then minus 4 times minus 2 is positive 8 y. Okay, so uh, we've got this written out. Let's simplify that down a little bit. y to the fifth, so I've got 6 of them plus 12 of them is 18 y to the fifth. Then y cubed, so I've got minus 2, minus 4, minus 52, y cubed. And then finally, we've got our y's, and the only one is plus 8y. So uh, my derivative g prime of y is equal to 18y to the fifth minus 52y cubed plus 8y. Now, uh, that certainly is the correct answer, but remember I said let's calculate this using two different methods. So let's remember this, 18y to the fifth minus 52y cubed plus 8y. Let's do the problem again. This time we'll FOIL first with the original function before we take the derivative, just to show that we should get the exact same thing. So let's do that. I'll erase here. And now let's start out by, instead of taking the derivative using the product rule, uh, I'm going to FOIL this out first. So I get g of y is equal to 3y to the fourth times y squared is 3y to the sixth. 3y to the 4th times negative 4 is negative 12y to the 4th. Uh, negative y squared times y squared is negative y to the 4th. And then I get minus y squared times minus 4, which is positive y squared, 4y uh, squared. Yeah, negative y squared times negative 4 is positive 4y squared. Okay, so everything looks good. I could 
simplify even more because some of this can be combined. So I get 3y to the 6th uh, minus 13 uh, y to the 4th plus 4y squared. Now we're ready to take the derivative. So now that I've foiled everything out, I've combined everything together, now let's take the derivative, see what happens, and I get the g prime of y is equal to 3 times 6 is 18, so we get 18y to the fifth. Uh, 4 times 13 is 52, so I get minus 52y cubed. And then 4 times 2 is 8, so I get plus 8y. Which, if you look back in the video, is exactly what we had before. So, it doesn't matter which way you do it, you can use the product rule in this case, you can multiply it out using FOIL, and then take the derivative after multiplying it out. Both do the same thing.